China has unveiled a new development in naval air defense technology, a prototype system designed to counter not only low-flying drones and cruise missiles but also hypersonic anti-ship weapons. Revealed in the April issue of Modern Weaponry, a Chinese defense magazine, the system is described as a novel approach to terminal defense, one that Chinese sources suggest may be the first of its kind globally. The system also signals China's growing focus on saturating firepower to counter the rising role of unmanned and high-speed precision weapons. At the heart of this new system is a multi-barrel barrage weapon, informally referred to as Metal Storm. The prototype features 16 tightly grouped 35mm barrels capable of firing unique munitions at an extraordinary combined rate of up to 400,000 rounds per minute. This level of firepower enables the system to produce an exceptionally dense bullet curtain of projectiles. According to a report by the South China Morning Post, this density is sufficient to intercept incoming hypersonic missiles traveling at speeds beyond Mach 7 a capability that, if validated, would mark a notable advance in short-range naval air defense. The system reportedly outpaces the fire rate of China's current Type 1130 close-in weapon system, and is designed to neutralize both fast-moving anti-ship missiles and complex threats like coordinated drone swarms. If fully integrated, it could significantly improve the defensive resilience of Chinese warships in increasingly contested maritime environments. The concept behind the so-called metal storm weapon traces back to the 1990s, when Australian inventor Michael Dwyer first proposed a radically new approach to rapid-fire weaponry. His company, Metal Storm Incorporated, developed a 36-barrel prototype capable of firing up to 1 million rounds per minute a record-breaking rate that drew international attention. With state-backed research and development resources, Chinese engineers revisited the Metal Storm principles preloaded munitions and electronically controlled ignition and adapted them into a new generation of high-density firepower systems. According to modern weaponry, China's version not only revives the original Metal Storm vision but significantly enhances it, both in firing rate and versatility. Some Chinese researchers now believe their design exceeds the performance of the early Australian prototype by a factor of 10, potentially opening the door to a range of naval and land-based military applications. China's new barrage weapon system stands out not just for its immense firepower but for its adaptability. Designed as a vehicle-mounted defense platform, the system can be deployed on a wide range of platforms from trucks and armored vehicles to naval warships thanks to its modular design. This flexibility allows it to be rapidly integrated across different branches of the armed forces, tailoring defense to the demands of varied combat environments. At the heart of the system is a 16-barrel configuration, with each barrel capable of firing up to 12,000 rounds per minute. Controlled by a sophisticated electronic ignition system, the weapon unleashes a tightly choreographed sequence of fire that forms a dense wall of bullets or bullet curtain abroad, high-speed curtain of projectiles designed to intercept incoming threats such as drone swarms or supersonic missiles. Yu Bin, the system's chief designer, explains that the weapon uses a plane-to-point interception concept, in contrast to the traditional point-to-point -point method used by conventional air defense guns. While conventional systems focus on hitting specific targets, this design floods the projected path of incoming threats with firepower, increasing the probability of interception, especially against numerous or fast-moving targets. One of the biggest logistical challenges for such high-rate-of-fire systems has always been reloading. With millions of rounds potentially expended in minutes, conventional reload mechanisms fall short. Chinese engineers address this by developing a containerized magazine system, each container includes preloaded barrels filled with ammunition. After firing, the entire unit barrels and all is discarded and replaced, streamlining the reload process and keeping the system combat ready with minimal downtime. In addition to its land-based applications, the system is designed for seamless integration into a variety of naval platforms, including destroyers and frigates. It provides close-range defense within a 3 to 5 kilometers envelope, capable of engaging both supersonic and subsonic threats. This includes sea-skimming anti-ship missiles and fast, maneuvering drones targets that are traditionally difficult to intercept with conventional systems. Advanced ammunition and fire control, the system supports multiple types of 35 mm ammunition, most notably the ahead programmable airburst round, which detonates in proximity to the target to release a controlled burst of sub-projectiles. This feature enhances the system's precision lethality, especially against small, agile threats such as drones or incoming munitions. 
Modern weaponry emphasizes that the weapon's rapid firing cycle and broad area coverage offer a form of multi-layered close-in defense, enabling warships to respond quickly to sudden, high-density attacks. Cost-effective and combat-ready, additional reporting from Chinese media underscores several practical advantages, the system is relatively low-cost, designed for high survivability, and capable of sustained operation in prolonged engagements. In contrast to traditional missile-based air defenses, which can be quickly depleted in a heavy exchange, this gun-based barrage system offers a more durable solution for defending critical platforms under continuous threat. According to modern weaponry, China's version of the Metal Storm has progressed beyond the prototype stage to become the only system of its kind in the world to enter mass production. This marks a significant milestone, positioning it as a potentially game-changing asset in countering saturation attacks, especially those involving volleys of cruise missiles or large-scale drone incursions. Its mass production status also signals China's readiness to field the system widely across its armed forces and opens the door for international export. Chinese sources suggest that its operational versatility, high-volume lethality, and cost efficiency make it an attractive option for countries looking to modernize their close-in air defense capabilities without becoming overly dependent on costly missile systems. The timing of this development is far from incidental. China's rapid advances in defensive technology, such as its new barrage weapon system, unfold against the backdrop of mounting strategic tension across the Taiwan Strait, where the cost of future conflict is measured not only in firepower but also in lives. The United States and Taiwan have already begun strengthening their drone capabilities. Long-range platforms like the MQ-4C Triton and MQ-9B Reaper are being deployed, while Taiwan's Ministry of National Defense has committed to producing 3,500 domestically made drones. A UAV testing and development hub is also planned for Jiayi County to fast-track innovation and supply chain readiness. Unmanned aerial systems are now central to Taiwan's asymmetric defense strategy. Large drones will conduct surveillance and battlefield coordination, while smaller and mid-sized UAVs are being equipped for electronic warfare, jamming, and precision strikes, especially in the event of a beachhead assault. In this evolving tactical environment, China's barrage weapon seems engineered with a specific mission, to saturate the skies with firepower capable of neutralizing swarms of drones before they reach their targets.